In short, because the local population, the Naga people, played a crucial role, you need local support, local logistics to win a war. Nagas contributed towards the triumph of that battle. Today, every Naga land can take pride in the fact that we contributed towards the triumph of freedom, we contributed towards the triumph of democracy, we contributed towards the triumph of the Second World War. This road that leads down to Dimapur was supposed to connect the Japanese forces to an airport and a railhead and to move on into the Indian subcontinent. That Japanese movement was halted here, in this very soil that we stand here today. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, today's event remembers that war, commemorates that battle, but today's event is about peace, brotherhood, unity, oneness. In remembering that battle, in recollecting those days, and with so many friends from the international community here this morning, we want you to take the message to all corners of the world, the message of peace. We thank you for coming here. We thank you for your support. It is not the most comfortable or the most luxurious of places Nagaland is. And it is not very easy to get here. But the smile that a Naga gives you is genuine. It's from the bottom of our hearts. The firm handshake that you get from a Naga is genuine. We hope you are comfortable. We hope you are taken, well taken care of. Sorry and apologies for the shortfalls. But when we go back after the Hornbill Festival, we request you to be ambassadors of the Naga people, we request you to be ambassadors of Nagaland. Thank you very much for being here. Before I proceed with the program, we have a little presentation for David Alfrey, a Naga shawl, sir, that will keep you warm in winter evenings and winter nights. And remember us for that. Yeah. Before we proceed, I request Reverend Benry Lota to come and say a few words of prayer.